Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you all of my favorite things from the month of June. So I'll be honest, June was a pretty light favorites month for me. I think it was mostly because I was so busy I didn't really have time to try anything new or introduce new things or like take stock of anything that was doing super super well in my life. This is going to be the first favorites video that I think I've done yet that I do not have a book to mention. Um, now that I didn't read anything good in June, I like I didn't read anything bad in June, just no books that really I would, could classify as like a new favorite. Okay, so we can kick this favorites video off with a like beauty shower product that I'm really loving lately, and that is this body wash by Method. I use Method soaps and like the dishwashing um, liquid and cleaning products, and I like that they are just like free of all of the harmful, toxic stuff, and they do a really good job at what they're supposed to do so when I saw they were making body washes now I was like of course I'm gonna give this a try usually I'm a St. Ives person because my skin does tend to be a little on the sensitive side when it comes to body washes and this has held up just as well for me first of all the packaging is just really pretty um methods packaging is usually pretty pretty and it just feels really nice like it's it's a good feeling bottle I got the coconut rice milk and shea butter simply nourish body wash and it smells really good it goes on really smooth leaves your skin super soft so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a lightweight um, toxic free good for you good feeling body wash that sounded like such a bad commercial but I really like this so definitely check it out if you're in the market for a new body wash next is a product another um like skincare product that i just ran out of actually i need to repurchase once i'm back from some traveling i'm about to do and that is these new yes to wipes i was like randomly in the store picking up some i usually use wait hold on I usually use these, these are the Yes to Cucumber Hyperallergenic Wipes and I love these, they leave my skin super refreshed, like it feels like you just did a full like wash your face, tone face mask, all of that with just these wipes. But these, I'll put a picture like right here, um, the Yes to Primrose Wipes, they're so fantastic, they're a little bit less um, aggressive than some of the other Yes to Wipes, like I said that one leaves my skin feeling like I really just did a full cleansing and these made me feel like I just more so refreshed my skin without stripping it of anything, which is really great they're perfect to throw in your bag if you um struggle with allergies or things like that or you live or work in dusty environments or you're constantly outside and just need to kind of refresh your skin they're perfect and they lasted me a while um i think i got the standard like 30 pack and i really like these i'm super impressed with most of the yes two products that i've tried if you watch my latest video it should be up by the time this video goes up you saw that i just hauled a bunch of new stationary items um, including some pens by muji and those definitely have made my list of favorites i am obsessed with these pens they write perfectly they come in so many colors they're easy to do simple list making or even to do like bullet journal spreads with um they're really popular with among bullet journalers um these are the 0.38 um 0.38 size i also have the black pens in 0.38 0.5 and 0.7 so a couple of varied thicknesses there but i'm obsessed with these pens i love them i ordered them on amazon i'll link them down below where you can find them too and i definitely recommend picking up the colors as well as the black just because they're so cute and they write very true to color as per usual i have a podcast to share with you guys i love amanda seal and i had no idea that she had a podcast i don't know how i didn't know that but if you watch insecure she plays tiffany on insecure and i love that character she's super funny and she's so talented hilarious also recommend following her on instagram i'll link her instagram below as well but she has a great podcast called small doses where she just shares like real gems she has a whole section on there called gym drop-in and it's just really good actionable life advice that I think that is really geared toward young women who were kind of making it in their careers and focusing more on themselves and kind of getting like a little bit lost or confused with all of the mixed messages we get sent about like how you should act how you should date how you should work how you should respond to like the world around you so it's really good I've really enjoyed catching up on old episodes listening to new episodes so I will link it down below and you can give it a listen too and the last thing I'm going to show you guys is this bag. Oh, it just washed me out so much because it's black. This bag by Everlane. This is the modern, modern commuter bag in mini. I love it. It has a little front pocket here and then the main compartment. It can fit my laptop, my notebooks, and all my other junk. My camera, um, pens, journals, a book. 
um, some face wipes, like a water bottle, everything can fit in here despite how small it is. It's great for travel if you are more of a light traveler. It's great for every day. I use it as my everyday bag. I just kind of got over the whole like tote bag shuffle. Like I can't live that life anymore. So now I am a backpack girl all the way, which there needs to be a way to be able to wear a dress and carry a backpack like and have a larger backside because I'm struggling but it's super comfortable no matter how heavy it is I never feel like it's straining on my back or my shoulders I I love it it looks really cute it's super sleek um, I've gotten tons of compliments on it and I've had it for about a month and a half now I also have another Everlane bag it's I think it's also called the modern commuter but it's the larger size and that's also can carry it has like a laptop sleeve in it which is great for when you're like doing travel as well. This bag has become my like everyday go-to bag um, and I will link it down below. Everlane makes great quality products so you should definitely if you're in the market for like some good quality clothing or bags or shoes definitely look at Everlane. I really like their brand. Alright guys that's it for my June favorites. Let me know what things you used and loved in June that you think I should check out in the comments below. As always I will link all of my social media down below as well. Feel free to follow me elsewhere and if you haven't already make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe to this channel. I post new videos every single week and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.